I thought I'd try something a bit different and give you a voiceover to tell you more about our experiences at Blenheim this year. Much as I'd love to have been going up to contest the four star, we weren't quite ready for that yet. So we were actually doing the Aventors Challenge, a class at 90 and 100 level for horses that are qualified through double keys and having foundation points at BE Eventing. Now for us, Blenheim is rather a long way. 250 miles and five and a half hours to six hours of driving. So we did think twice about whether we were mad or not. We stopped a few times en route, both to offer Fliss water and give the dogs a pee, and actually made it in good time to stabling, which we were very fortunate to have stabling only five miles away. The advantages of being able to put posts on shoestring eventing and I had many offers of some great stabling, so I was really lucky. We arrived at the event to find the most perfect parking space. We were overlooking cross country and could watch the eight or nine year old class competing. Fliss was really chilled about this. She actually watched with her ears forwards, but didn't get sort of up herself or, you know, really excited, but just quietly watched. So obviously contemplating for the future. The event itself is a mixture of show jumping and cross country in a very atmospheric arena with people watching and lots going on. A really brilliant experience for Fliss and one that I was very keen for her to have. The competition is judged on clear jumping round and time. The time is 375 metres per minute and it's quite tight to actually get within that time. I think there was only three or four on the day that made the time. So it's important to take the quickest routes and keep going in a forward rhythm. Looking at my round here, I think, if I'm honest, I could have just been up a quarter of a gear. She jumped really well and, you know, like the fence we're coming to now, really helped me out when we had a few little misses. Um, you can also see it's piddling down with rain. So we certainly didn't have the easiest conditions and it was quite slippery with it. So as you can see, we started off with, I think it was eight show jumps, all at a metre. And we're just coming to the last double. And after this double, we actually turn and we start the cross country. So you try and get a little bit of speed up, but equally you don't want to go so fast that you're making big wide turns. So from this fence, again, you're always on the turn back to the next fence. And some of it's actually reasonably technical on the cross-country side. This is to quite a narrow roll top or spread. And then there's a really decent brush going down the hill. And how brave are you to turn tight into a double of quite skinny brushes. I was quite pleased with my turn here and she really locked on to it. Another tight turn and then the last cross country fence before you turn back to the joker which is a bigger upright coming down the hill. over the moon with a clear round. Sadly we weren't quite quick enough. We had a really good effort but we were three and a bit seconds over the time meaning we had 1.6 time penalties and actually finished seventh in, in a competitive class. Typically they placed to six with a mounted prize giving. Fliss was quite happy. She got to have her polos, graze the Blenheim grass and when the cross country was finished, she was allowed over to see what she'd be jumping in three or four years time. This morning, she's chilled and out in the field, enjoying a leg stretch and a day with her feet up. Well, she may be less happy after the amount it's rained today. Hope you like this as a different way of presenting our Blenheim experience. And do, as always, give me some feedback, either online, email or social media. Many thanks.